So in this video, let's see how to calculate the profit percentage. To do that, let's start with a problem. Maybe you bought something, you, you buy something for 10 rupees. And let's say you sold it. You sold it for 12. Now the question asks us, can you find the profit? Can you find the profit? And also can you find the profit? Profit percentage. Profit, I'm going to use this sign for percentage. Can you find these two things? Now I want you to pause the video and see if you can uh, find the answer to both of these. And let's check if the both of us did it the same way. Now, the first part is quite simple. I'm just going to say, okay, I bought for 10. The way I read this question is, bought for 10? Oh, that's another way of saying my cost price equals 10. And now I sold for 12. And that's just another way of saying my selling price equals 12. And I know that my profit is simply the difference between these two. So I know that my profit... P-R-O-F-I-T, my profit equals 12 minus 10, which is 2 rupees. So that's my profit. But now, the interesting question here is, what's the profit percentage? Now, before we jump into this, I want to do a quick refresh, a quick reminder of what percentage means. Per percentage, percent. I'm writing it separately so that we notice this percent over here. Percent simply means for every 100, for every 100 or per 100. Cent from century and centimeter, you know that, always has something to do with 100 in it. So in general, what does a percentage mean? Let me just bring it all up over here. So percent in general means per 100. So a simple way to uh, say what a percent is, is the numerator, it's the numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100. Numerator of a fraction whose denominator, whose denominator is 100. I know it's a big way to say it, is 100. But this big sentence in the language of math is simply something by 100. Something by 100. If this is 30 by 100, then we say this is 30 percentage. These two sentences are the same thing. 30 out of 100 and 30 percentage are exactly the same things. Just two different ways to say the same thing. And you probably know this. But I'm just using a refresh so that we can now look at what profit percentage means. So if this had been 15 by 100, that's another way of saying 15%. In fact, this number can be more than 100. It doesn't always have to be less than 100. I can have 120 by 100. And what is that equal to? That's 120 percentage. Now, let's get to the question over here, which is not just the percent, but what's the profit percent? So let's, let's do that over here. So the question wants you to find out the profit percentage. I'm going to write this out like this. Profit per 100 cost price. That's what this sentence actually means. So when we say, cal can you calculate profit percentage? When your cost price was, what was it again? It was 10 and your selling price was 12. When it's asking you, can you find profit percentage? What you're really being asked is, can you find the profit per 100 cost price? Another way to say the same thing is profit for a cost price of 100. Cost price of 100. And this will become more clear with um, an example. So cost price was 10. How much did you make? 2 rupees. And now what is it asking? This question is asking, what profit would you have made if your cost price was 100 rupees? So you bought for 10 rupees. Let's write the cost price over here. You bought for 10 and you made 2 rupees. So profit is 2 rupees. What if you had bought for 100 then how much would your profit have been? If you calculate this answer, this is what we call profit percentage. And now there are many ways to get to this answer. Now one way that I think about it is, uh, for you, give me, you gave me 10 rupees, I made 2 rupees profit. If you give me 100 rupees, how much will I make? So this is very similar to asking the question, 10 bananas cost 2 rupees, then how much will 100 bananas cost? We have solved many problems like this. So in my mind, I'm just going, okay, 10 times 10 gives me 100, then 2 times 10 will give me what? Because I know I had to multiply by 10 to go from 10 to 100. So then I must multiply 2 with the same thing to get to the answer over here. And so what is that answer going to be? 2 times 10 is 20. So 20% 20 is the answer to this question that we have. So for 10 rupees cost price, I made a 2 rupee profit. 
So for a 100 rupee cost price, I'll make a 20 rupees profit or in other words, I have a 20% profit. Now notice that this is not a new thing you're learning. Another way to look at the same thing is as a fraction problem. So this is the same thing as asking, you made 2 rupees for 10 rupees. How much will you make? How much will you make for 100 rupees? Now isn't this just a fraction problem where 3 things are given and you have to find this thing over here? There are many ways to do it. We just did it in one way by asking to go from here to here. 10 has been multiplied by 10. So if this fraction has to be equal, you have to multiply this also by 10. And that's what we did. We wrote 20 by 100. So the question is asking you, convert this fraction to a fraction whose denominator is 100. And you'll notice that you don't need any formula to do this. One of the problems that I see is that uh, students tend to think that profit and loss has some formulas. And then simple interest has other formulas. Discount has other formulas. But you'll start seeing that all of these are the same problem. Let's look at one more uh, problem to see that. Maybe this time the cost price is 1000. So you're, you're buying a big thing now. And then you're selling it. Your selling price is 1050. So how much profit did you make here? Now the profit you made is 50 rupees. 1050 minus 1000. So you made a 50 rupee profit. Bigger than what the previous person made. He just made a 2 rupee profit. But let's see what the profit percentage is. Profit percentage. What is that going to be? Now you know everything you need to know to calculate the answer to this question. So pause the video. And look at what answer you get and let's let's think this through together. So if you've thought and you have an answer with you, let's do this together. The way I'm doing it in my head is I'm going, okay, so the cost price was 1000. The cost price was 1000. And the profit I made was 50. And when somebody is asking me what profit percentage is, in my head, I am breaking this down into, oh, you want profit percentage. In other words, you want how much profit would I have made if my cost price had just been 100. And now I look at this and I go, okay, 1000 rupees, I made 50 profit. For 100 rupees, how much would I have made? I know to go from 1000 to 100, I have to divide by 10 or in other words, multiply with 1 by 10. 1000 by 10 gives me 100. So to keep the whole thing equal, I have to multiply this also by 1 by 10. And what will I get over here? 50 times 1 by 10. 1 by 10. Or in other words, 5%. 50 by 10, 5%. So the profit percentage here is 5%. And once again, I want you to notice that this is nothing different. You've just been asked this fraction question. 50 by 1000 equals how much by 100? How much by 100? Profit by cost price equals how much by 100? And this what we have over here is what we call our profit percentage. I'm going to write profit percentage. And that's what you did. You, you, you did this in this way by taking 1000 divided by 10, in, in other words, into 1 by 10, and 50 into 1 by 10. 